All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. And today, we are gonna be showcasing two brand new Extreme Z Awakenings for AGL Khalifla, as well as Fizz Berserk Kale, that us global players have been waiting for, for a very, very, very long time. And today, we're gonna find out whether or not all that waiting was actually worth it. Now, before we get into it, I wanna give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Pain Shop on Twitter. They offer some nice discounts on Dragonstones for iOS users, so if you guys are interested, then feel free to check out the link in my description. Okay, so let's uh, start here with the details for AGL Khalifla first. Her leader skill is all types key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 80%. Super attack causes supreme damage and raises defense by 60% for 3 turns. And her passive is attack plus 120%, defense plus 60%, a high chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks and also a medium chance of evading enemy super attacks and countering with tremendous power. Attacks effective against all types when there is an ally whose name includes Kale attacking in the same turn and uh, everything else of course stays the same from before the EZA. Now for Kale, her leader skill is Fizz types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, super attack, uh, immense damage and greatly lowers uh, enemy's defense and her passive is attack plus 160 percent launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack reduces damage received by 60 percent for six turns from start of turn reduces damage received by 60 percent with six or more fizz key spheres obtained uh, starting from the seventh turn from start of battle okay so that is kale and khalifla's extreme z awakening details and on this first rotation, we've got the Kale. She does have the 60% damage reduction, so even though her defense is only 53,000, which is pretty low, she's going to be really tanky for the first six turns of the fight. Now, of course, after we pass six turns, um, her defense could definitely become an issue, unless you bring an orb changer like uh, Fizz Kefla, for example. But for the purpose of today's showcase, we didn't bring that orb changer. So uh, I expect her to definitely take quite a bit of damage later on in the event, but for now, she's an absolute monster. Okay, so first attack, well over 2 million attack stat. She did get an additional, unfortunately it wasn't a uh, super attack, but that additional had like a, at least 50% chance, I believe. I think it was like 50% chance. That's a great chance, right? Or maybe 70 I get the percentages confused sometimes. So it's either 50 or 70, but, but either way, it's a really good chance for an additional super attack. And of course, she's also rainbowed, so she does have uh, additional in her hidden potential system. So she has the potential to super three times in a turn, which is most likely going to happen at some point in this showcase. Okay, so for Khalifla, she currently has 99,000 defense. She raises her defense by 60% for three turns right on super so uh, in addition to that she also has the high chance to dodge and also a medium chance to dodge supers and counter so uh yeah we shouldn't really worry about her too much until we get to like you know the final stage of this event where of course you're not able to get a dodge okay so this turn we don't have the kale on rotation so her attacks are not effective against all but once we get that uh int super saiyan 2 kale on the same rotation, we're gonna get the extra support as well as effective against all types. But 1.5 mil is uh, pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Here we got the transformation for this Kefla. Yo, I never use this Kefla. She's amazing. It's just, I don't really get a chance, you know? Okay, so uh, here we go. Now we have, hmm, who should we actually link Kale up with? I don't think it really matters. Yeah, cause her only attack link is Berserker, I think, and nobody else on the team has Berserker, so um, yeah, it doesn't really make a difference no matter where we place her here. Okay, so let's just put her there. Let's give her a few orbs. This turn, we don't have any supports, so let's see what her damage is without a single support unit on the rotation. Last turn, it was like 2.2, I think. This turn, 1.9, which is still really good. Still really solid, and then we got the, there we go, additional super. I was gonna call it, I was like, yo, I feel like this turn is when the additional super happens. Okay, so two supers, can we get a third? No third super, but as you can see, good solid tanking, double digits, triple digits. So yeah, as long as she has her damage reduction up, even though she doesn't get any defense, 
you don't have to worry about her as at all. It's just um, she does lose that defense, you know, after six turns. So for longer events, definitely she's a concern, right? Um, I, if you do plan her, plan to bring her for events like this one, um, where you know you're gonna be, you know, fighting for more than six turns, then you probably want that orb changer, whether it be uh, you know Fizz Kefla or maybe. Who else is a Fizz Orb Changer? Oh, the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, right? The the Fizz Super Saiyan Blue Goku, that works too. Um, I was gonna say Weirus, but I'm not really sure what teams they would fit on together. With the exception of like a Fizz team, yeah, I don't really know. So those are probably our best two options. The Fizz, Kef Fizz Kefla as well as uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Okay, so now we have the Kale on rotation. She has 158,000 defense. Really good, really, really good. And uh, we can just give her whatever orbs, give her two orbs, sure, why not? And let's see what she can do here. Now, of course, we have type disadvantage, but since we're getting attacks effective against all types, it doesn't really matter. Okay, we're taking 19 damage, 1.7 mil attack, and let's see how much she hits for 1.3 mil. Okay, that was a crit, so doesn't really count. Yo, what happened to the dodges though? <laughs> what happened to her chance to dodge? She's supposed to have like at least a 50% chance, I'm pretty sure, so uh, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Is my is my Khalifla broken? My Khalifla might be broken. I don't know, man. Because she hasn't dodged a single time yet, and I'm a little bit concerned. So hopefully we get some dodges, because obviously that's like, that's her calling card. Like, that's kind of what Khalifla's known for. Um, even though now she can do like some decent damage too, right? Like, the dodges were definitely the staple of that card, and it's kind of weird that she hasn't dodged even once yet. But her tanking has been solid, so at least we've been able to see see that showcased, right? Like, the tanking has been very, very good so far. And of course, same thing for the Kale, but I'm not surprised. Okay, we're getting, we're getting supered here. Let's see how much we take. 27k. It's okay. That's good. No, that's really good. Uh, it's gonna be fun to see what happens though once we get her back again because the turn after this is gonna be turn 7. Right, we're on turn 5 right now. So on turn 7, he's gonna lose all that damage reduction, all 60% of it. And uh, at that point, it might become a bit of an issue. But I'll worry about that when we get there. Right now, we're gonna focus on Khalifla. We're gonna go back and forth between the two girls. Sounds kinda weird. Anyways. Uh, now it's Khalifla's turn, and she has 158,000 defense again. Um, let's put her in front of these attacks here, so we can get some dodges, maybe a, a counter as well. So obviously I want to showcase all facets of a unit when we're showcasing them, right? So, yeah, let's try. Ooh, we can get six, okay, eight orbs, damn, for Kefla here. And we also might be able to get six um, Fizz orbs, actually for Kale next turn, because I saw we have a lot of Fizz Orbs, I don't know if it's enough, but that'd be dope if we can actually, you know, just randomly happen to get, you know, all those, oh wait, why am I at one time speed? Okay, here we go, 1.7 mil, gonna be effective against all types, so, oh, crit again, damn, okay, okay, so we didn't dodge there, 69, nice, 65, 58, hold on, <laughs> What's going on? What is going on with my Khalifla? I swear my Khalifla's broken, man. I swear my Khalifla's broken. Okay, let me let me read her passive one more time. Just 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 to be sure I didn't confuse it. Okay, because something's wrong. Yo, Kefla got the dodge. Kefla got the dodge, but Khalifla didn't. Hold on. Do I have to be like below a certain amount of HP or something? Like I, I, I don't think so, like that's not what I remember, but something's weird man. Look, high chance of evading enemies attacks including super attacks, medium chance of evading enemy super attacks and countering with tremendous power. Um, there's no condition on that man, like what? <laughs> what's going on? Why are we not getting a single dodge? Yo, okay we got lucky, yo we got really lucky. Um, that's gonna be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oh actually maybe not. Hold on, okay, if I give this to Yelena Khalifla, one, two, three, four, five, six. 
Wait, that's still five, I think. And she needs six fizz orbs. Yeah, six fizz orbs. Man, we're just one orb short. That's rough. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, we don't take a super. Um, I think if it's a normal attack, it should still be fine. But if Kale takes a super, things could get rough. We'll see. We'll see. I'm still I'm still kind of shook, honestly, by the whole, um, <laughs> by the whole Khalifa thing, man. Like, why why is she not dodging? What's going on? My my Khalifa is broken. I'm I'm convinced my Khalifa is broken. Okay, so I was worried about Kale's defense, but I don't think it's gonna be an issue because we're most likely gonna kill Goku here. There he goes. Okay, he's dead. All right, so I'm gonna keep trying with with Khalifa here. Let's put her in front of, ooh, uh, I don't know about this one actually. 190,000 defense, but that's Super Saiyan God Goku. Okay, let's go for it. Whatever, screw it, screw it. Yo, we're gonna put her to, to a test. We're gonna make her show us what she can do with those dodges. Come on, that's the first one. Oh my God, that was the first one of the showcase. Yo. Okay, that's two, that's three. Oh, please dodge this one. That's four. Okay, we didn't get the counter. We didn't get to get the counter, but we got a bunch of dodges. Okay, so here's what's up. Okay, she was saving all the dodges for this one turn, right? She really wanted to impress us on this one turn. Um, let me just check something. Let me, let me check the percentages here. I'm gonna pop over to the Dokkan Wiki and see what the percentages for dodging are. Okay, so it's, yeah, 50% is high chance, right? Great chance is 70, but high chance is 50. And let's see what else. 30% uh, for evading and countering enemy super attacks. So we didn't get that 30% proc, but we did get the 50% to dodge the super. We just didn't counter it, which is not a big deal, I guess. Um, so here is going to be a fun test. I don't know about fun, actually. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I was gonna put uh, Kale in front of all those attacks, but I think that most definitely would have killed us. That most like the most most definitely would have ended the showcase. And um, I still want to keep going for a bit, so we're not gonna do that. We're still gonna absorb at least a normal attack here, and uh, Kale's gonna get punished a little bit. She's gonna get she's gonna get punished a little bit, man. She's probably gonna take like 50. 80, 100, I don't even know. Some, she's gonna take a lot of damage. I, I, I can feel it right now, so let's see what happens. <sighs> okay, so she's still doing good damage for sure, 1.2. Um, still got that great chance for additional super, of course. So she's still gonna hit pretty freaking hard. There you go, almost a double super every single turn, right? Pretty much double supers every single turn. Haven't gotten the triple super yet. Okay, no triple super. Uh, we took 61k, there you go. See, that's what happens when you lose the damage reduction, man. That is exactly what happens, so that's why I say, man, bring the Orb Changer if you plan to bring her for longer events. Because if you don't, then uh, you might be in some trouble. Okay, so yeah, Khalifa's back to 158k. She had 190k with the double supports. And uh, of course, that's very good. And she also got four dodges off last turn, I believe. Four dodges. So she still is going to be dodging pretty frequently. I just got really unlucky earlier on in the showcase. Okay, we took a normal for 93. 93. Very good. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Boom. So, so far, I gotta be honest, man. Even though, even though Kale does more damage, right? She definitely does. I mean, every... Most turns, actually, she's doing double supers, right? And if she's doing two mil per super, there's gonna be four million attack per turn. Um, you know, kind of on average, maybe a little bit less on average, but still around that range, right? And uh, that's awesome. But her defense goes away, you know, so quickly. I mean, I, I guess six turns is not that quick, actually. No, it's, it's not that quick. It's just. Um, yeah, let me let me actually do this. I'm gonna go with this turn so I can actually save all those attacks for Khalifa later on. Um, yeah, it's not that quick, but obviously for these longer events, it becomes an issue. So, what I would say is, 
I feel like Khalifla is going to be the more consistent unit. She's going to be the more um, just like dependable unit for all events, whereas maybe for Kale, for shorter events, she's going to be better damage wise. And also tanking too. Her tanking is going to be better for as long as she has the damage reduction. It's just Khalifla is always going to have that damage reduction, always going to have that dodge, unless you're, of course, you know, facing a unit that or an enemy that removes your ability to dodge, right? Just like the MUI Goku or something like that. Um, and she also is going to be attacks effective against all types if you have the Kale on your on your rotation. So um, overall, I'm liking Khalifla better. I I'm liking Khalifla better than Kale, but they're both fun. They're both they're both great easy A's. Bro, both huge improvements, of course, from the pre Extremes Z Awaken forms, and. Uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy we finally got them, man. I, I'm, I'm just so glad that they decided to finally give us these easy A's, man. Like, I, I, I honestly thought at one point that it was just never, not gonna happen this year. No, like, I knew it was gonna happen at some point. Eventually, we we're gonna get them. Oh, please dodge this. Is she gonna dodge? She's not gonna dodge. She's not gonna dodge! Uh, oh! Hey, she didn't dodge, but she, she took that... She took that well, man. She took that well. Okay, 150k. Yo, I, I was expecting actually a lot more than that. Yo, props to <laughs> props to Khalifla, man. It was it was actually good. You know what? It was good that we took that super, cause then I could tell, you know, how how well she tanks a super like that from a really hard hitting enemy like this. Uh, yo, Kefl is a beast. Kefl is a beast. Oh my god. 3.5 million additional and the crit, yo. Wow. All right, so guys, we're gonna do probably one more turn with each of these units, and then we're gonna call it a showcase. Um, actually, you know what? This might be the last turn because I'm not gonna use an item. I'm not gonna pop any items. I'm gonna see what happens with uh, <laughs> with with Kale here. We're most likely gonna die, so. Under the assumption that we will get killed this turn. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed today's showcase. Let me know in the comments down below what you feel about Kale and Khalifa's ECAs. Which one do you think is better? And uh, whether or not you, you know, Extreme Z awakened your Kale and Khalifa's. Um, I think they're both excellent, though. I think they're both great ECAs. I wouldn't say they're broken. You know, they're not like amazingly busted or anything like that. They're just really, really good ECAs. And, um, you know, you can't really expect more than than this so that's it guys thank you so much for watching it'd be funny if i actually don't die here yeah it'd be, it'd be kind of funny if i survive this turn i don't see it happening though i mean i'm gonna let it play out i'm gonna let it play out if we die then it's meant to be if we don't die then we'll do one more turn with khalifla and then still end the showcase oh look at those dodges oh look at those dodges this is a fun team guys this is a really fun team the kale and khalifla team is dope. All right, so that's one super, additional super. Yo, can we can we finally get the triple super turn? Can we finally get the super triple, super triple, triple super? Oh, we got additional, not a super though. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <gasps> Yo, it was impressive just how much damage she took there. I mean, with forty thousand defense, I'm not I'm not shocked. I'm really not surprised, but uh, there you go, guys. Kellen Khalifla, easy A's, finally on go, finally on global. I almost said global. Where that come from? Finally on global. Hope you guys are uh, you know excited for them. Hope you guys um, enjoyed today's video once again. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And uh, while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.